My name's William. And I'm Manny. Take it away, man. AKA the younger brother. We're brothers here. This is our podcast, The Bro Talk. Bro Talk. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Hopefully, you're ready. I'm so excited that you're watching. Go ahead and, and uh, follow us, subscribe. Do whatever. We got m- more things coming your way. So, watch some of these videos. Mm-hmm. It's very funny. Strap it for the journey. It's going to be a fun one. Bro Talk. Oh. Bro Talk. Yo, we are back. How you doing? What up? Dude, wonderful. This setup? What do you what do you think of this setup? Can I just say you look real good? Yeah, this setup is sick, No, no, bro. no. You sound you you sound good <laughs> and you look real good. When'd you get that perm? I never got a perm, bro. <laughs> Don't ever say perm again. No, you didn't get a perm? Dude, you look different with your hat off, bro. I can see the <laughs> Man, look. This is a landing strip for a plane. No, I'm just joking. I no. can't tell if the lights coming from the lights or from your forehead. All right, bro, talk fan. <laughs> this is a rose session. Man. I'm kidding. But it's good to see you. It's good to you see you good. too, bro. You look good. Okay. You too, you too. How's school? School's going wonderful. Soccer's good. I seen you play some soccer. You're doing yeah. killing it. We've all been killing it. The whole team. The team's really fun. And they're all just a bunch of fun guys. Yeah. Man, you sound good. You have such a good voice. Can you say, are you in good hands? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say, do it, please, for me. Just say, <clears throat> are you in good hands? Oh my <laughs> goodness, I just got the chills. I'm just joking, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. man. But guys, bro, talk. We're happy to have you watching us. Can you guys tell where we're at? I think Fine. so. We're the, we're the barber shop, and it's not just any barber shop. It's the best in town, and I want to tell you we're in Whatcom mm-hmm. County, and. I haven't got a haircut in maybe three weeks, but can look at how good it still looks. I don't know if you can tell. Yes, sir. No, guys, but we're at a barber shop. Uh, it's actually called Via Barber Shop. It's a very, very beautiful location. We got some great barbers. And uh, before we continue, we're going to actually show you guys a quick promo vid video. Vid. Same thing. Same thing. From them. Ready? Watch it. This is some good looking people. Dude, those are beautiful video too. Yeah, it but. is. Yeah. Yeah. But the smiles, do you see do you see the barber and yeah. the client smiling? That's just when you know it's like that good community. That's that's the right barber shop. Yeah. His the via. Yeah. The barber shop. Yeah. It's a nice video. And we have a special guest. We got a special guest. Who's a special guest? It's a good looking man too. Don't worry. I, I don't I don't roll that way, but Right now, I was looking like it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, he we have a special guest, and it's not just anybody. This is a, a owner of a barber shop, and uh, it's Mister Via himself. What's good? <laughs> What's good? <laughs> hey, How you man, doing? Good man. Good. It's a privilege to be here on Bro Talk. Uh, as you guys all can see, we're in in my shop. It's been an honor and a privilege to be able to own this place. Uh, I've come a long way. So, yeah, it's a privilege to be on Bro Talk and kind of, you know, just kind of hang out with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. How long have you had this barbershop for? So, I've had this barbershop for about like three years. So, and counting. So, uh, God has been doing great things in this place and we keep looking forward and for brighter days and better days. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So we're here just kind of. Kicking it forward. <laughs> That's good. Oh, you have a good voice too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll look at this say, Can we like, yeah. can we mention how good the last name sounds? Like Via. Isaac Via. Yeah. <laughs> you in good hands. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Well, welcome to Bro Talk. Uh, thank you so much for having us here. This is amazing. Your shop for three years. I mean, it's beautiful. You got some great barbers. Like I said, everybody. I only come here. It's ever since I moved. Yeah. 
to this area. I've been getting hooked up. My face look clean. I go to work. People are like, mm. I said, mm, mm. be a barbershop. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Thank you. Thank you for always hooking this him up to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. So if you're not getting your haircut at Via Barbershop, you're not, not him or her. <laughs> you're not him or her. <laughs> yeah, that's good. But walking to Bro Talk, we have a great episode for you tonight. Uh, we we got some real funny stuff. I can't even hold it. I got I'm grinning because, well, that's gonna be really bad for me too. But anyways, welcome. Please make sure to follow, comment, subscribe, all that. Let those. Amigos, amigas know that Los Hermanos are back and we're talking. Mm-hmm. And we got a special guest, Isaac Villa. Yeah. 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 You got anything to ask our, our, our CEO? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> just anything? Um, what made you, like, what made you want to cut hair? So, I guess, uh, let's see, where should I start? Because it's kind of a long story, so... Uh, I don't want to get into it too much, but it all started when I was back in high school. Mm-hmm. So we would just be cutting hair for free because my parents never took me to a barbershop. So <laughs> I didn't even know what a Great Clips was till I think like after high school. So but, and when I have no money, I was in high school. So I just remember a bunch of buddies and, and I would we just get together and we just start cutting each other's hair. So and back in the day... I remember that we would just kind of do a one size all over the head and a shorter size on the side. And we would do that pointy, that pointy sideburn. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you remember that yeah. trend. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I thought it was fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much where it all started. But I never thought I could actually make a career out of it. So that's, that's sick. And I'm here now. So, yeah. I mean, when you least expect it, things happen. Yeah. Was there any a time like back then where, where you're like, dang, my friend messed me up? Oh yeah, there's there's, 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 (laughs) there was a lot of those. That's for sure. Uh, Yeah, I mean, like I said, we were back in high school, so I mean, a lot of us didn't have money, so that was the best route to go. So (laughs) you kind of had to suck it up. (laughs) Just confidence. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the new look. That's that's pretty much the trend. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, do you have any like funny, embarrassing stories here? I mean, you're a barber, so you see everything from clients to just funny moments. Uh, I mean, you, see, you see definitely you get to meet a lot of new people, that's for sure. And it's a lot of fun because, I mean, there's a lot of different personalities. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as funny stuff that I've, I've come across, I mean, uh, people have accidentally tripped. Just, I mean, the scariest part is I've I almost had a person actually have a, a uh, panic attack in my chair where he kind of passed out. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was scary. So I'm like, yeah, I kind of, I'm uh, thinking to myself, well, man, I'll drag you outside. I'm like, have you die outside and you're dead in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> There's liability so, with that. Yeah. So, uh, but as far as funny stuff, I mean, uh, you get to meet a lot of pers- new personalities. So you get to uh, get to know a lot, a lot of people. I mean, they have a lot of joy. It's nice because you because you start to create a bond with them. Right. Yeah. So it, it's really cool because I mean you get to meet a lot of people that you never thought working at a your regular nine to five job that you'd get to meet. So it, it's it's really cool. I've I've met firefighters. I mean I met doctors. I mean you name it. I think I've I've met a, a lot of those people. So I mean it's 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 a really cool industry to be in. Yeah, it's because I mean, you just you have a lot of fun. It's not really boring because yeah, yeah. the whole time you're in the chair just chatting it out with your clients. So mm-hmm. it's really cool. Yeah, and sometimes you have no idea who's sitting there, right? It could yeah. be famous. It could be someone that have been in Whatcom County and they changed Whatcom County. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one thing you don't know. I mean, we you get a lot of people with a, a pretty big past whether it's good or bad and the only thing you can do is just i mean uh i talk to them just try to connect with them try to create a bond so it's really cool i mean whether they had a good or bad background i mean it doesn't matter to me because the way i see things i mean the past is the past and you just got to keep looking forward right right that's crazy that's the first ever barber shop and therapy <laughs> no i feel like my barbers i feel the barbers that i've you know worked with before 
I share a lot of stuff. I mean, they ask me, what are you doing for school? What are you doing yeah. this? What are you doing that? And I'm like, man, I just left. I'm like, man, I feel good. Not only do I look good, but I feel good. Yeah, and I mean, I don't got a very good memory. So usually if somebody tells me something, I'll probably end up forgetting by the end of the day. <laughs> so you don't got to worry about me telling anybody. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not. It's because I, I, really <laughs> I come across so many people. It's just too hard to remember all that information. Yeah. I had some, I, it takes me a little bit to remember your name if you're a first-time client. But as we start to create that bond, mm-hmm. uh, eventually I'll, 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 get to, I'll get to remembering your name. A haircut is usually pretty. It's a lot easier for me to remember your haircut than your name. So <laughs> that's usually how it works. Yeah, <laughs> sure. that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah, that's really cool, though. Wow, I never thought about that. Now that I mean, I come here right and regular. They're like, okay, but they they cut what twenty twenty hair twenty haircuts a day, right? Yeah, and, and they then, remember that haircut. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's different haircuts, so it's it's eh, I don't know. It's just something like I guess just seeps in your head. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. You just photo memory, I guess. I guess so. So sometimes I'll be like, um, what do you want? I I want a skin, a one. He's like. Oh yeah, no, you 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 want this. I have no idea what I'm asking sometimes, but they take care of me. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. (laughs) It's a job trying to figure it out. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. But it's 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 really cool, man. That's good. That's good. Awesome. What's the funniest, like the funniest core memory that you have here at the shop? Here at the shop? Ah, that's a good one. I mean as far as funny goes. That's a good one. I can't think of anything right off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, I, I, I got one. I got one. I got one. I, I had a client one time where I was fixing to do his eyebrows, and this client, he's really expressive with his with his eyebrows. So we were doing his eyebrows, and as I was just putting the the trimmer to his eyebrows right here. I don't know what we were talking about, but it was, I guess it was a really interesting conversation. As I'm putting the trimmer down, he he just goes like this, and I just shave half of the, half of the eyebrow off. Half, half of the eyebrow off, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, but thankfully, the client, he knew it was kind of him, his mistake, so it was just kind of like, oh, man, I can't really do anything about that one, so... Well, you just kind of had to fix the other one to kind of just kind of lightly match. So, yeah, that, that one was a tough one. So, I'm like, yeah. What would you say? Hey, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I guess he told his wife. He's like, oh, she's like, you did what? <laughs> you did what? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, yeah. You definitely come across a lot of people where uh, they're, they're, they're sitting there, but they don't realize that what they like to move a lot. Yeah. So when you're fading and they accidentally move in the wrong direction, yeah, that's not good news, man. Man, <laughs> that's rough. I've heard stories about yeah. that. Yeah. I just can't imagine myself with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny. Well, we have some. <laughs> speaking about funny stuff like that, we have some funny stuff, funny pictures to it go. Uh, it's a uh, you vote who has the worst haircut between. Myself and Manny. Manny, you take it away so I can I can show him. <clears throat> well, this was obviously before we saw the. Uh, yeah, this is not here. This, is not, this here. is not here. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> I don't know where we were going, but it wasn't the spot. But they, it's bad. <laughs> I don't even know what the faces are, what the what the hair is. But we got Willie on the left and me on the right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna post it for you guys. Ready? There it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I look like a mango chupado. <laughs> Whoa. It almost looks the same, though. Yeah, you guys almost got the identical same haircut right there. Yeah. I look like I have a toupee. Dude, that's it's what I real. I say. promise. Look, it's real. It looks like you have a toupee. Which one? Uh, Which one do you pick? I don't know, man. They're, they're both kind of. Equally. Equally. <laughs> Ty? Yeah, 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 I guess he has the tie. tie. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so funny. Should we do like rounds? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even recognize you. That is the next one. Wow. 
Yeah, you see, yeah, I guess you see that was the kind of trend that was going on in high school. Damn, that this was <laughs> my boy. This was last year. This was last summer. <laughs> <laughs> You really wow. should. Man. I was trying to, you know, look like Romeo Santos. Hey, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you definitely Fuck got the face for it. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Well, bad. it looks good, though. I mean, I don't know. Next. Next. <laughs> okay, bro. Dude, that one was, dude, that one was literally like two nights ago. I just had a headband on because I was doing my face. Which hairstyle do you like better? What were you doing to your face? <laughs> I was washing it. I put on like. Uh, <laughs> he said, oh, "What is that?" No, I put on. You told me to do it. Like, put some, like put a mask on for you know, my face. <laughs> wait, wait, bro, come on. Okay, anyways, it's a clay mask. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta take care of your skin. My boy put me on. There you go. But uh, it's just everything, right? It's just the look. Which one do you like better? I think I like with the band, with the headband with on. The headband. <laughs> the not even fully on headband, just to the side. <laughs> oh man! There you go. That Perfect. was last night or the night before, dude. That was like two, two, three nights ago. Oh, funniest trend, funniest trend. Oh yeah, uh, okay. funniest trends like within the span of your career of cutting. Card- or like the craziest like haircut that someone asked, and you said, "Oh, <laughs> hey, whatever you want." Good. I mean, I got a, I get a lot of crazy haircuts in here, so I mean, it's not something I just kind of. I guess it's just more of a spur of the moment. I guess I mean, it just every client's different. Uh, thankfully, we never do the same haircut every day. Uh, when fades were coming into trend, that got, that got old for a little bit because it was just the same haircut after haircut after haircut. So, but now that the fade, I guess, evolved. We do a little bit more burst fades. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. Uh, it's just not a strict one, like a single fade, the same fade on every yeah, single person. Yeah. So it's really nice because, I mean, you kind of get out of that routine to just be be real repetitive. So it's really nice. I, I get a lot of old folks too, which is really cool because, I mean, I, I like to very – the age groups, yeah. I don't like to be focused on one certain, because I like the shop to be like a family friendly yeah, shop. Yeah, so, that's, I that's mean, nice. For me, all ages are welcome. It doesn't matter what age. So I mean, like I said, I do from a six six month to a year old to basically whatever age yeah. you live to, I guess. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen it. There's times that I come here and I see people from the community i'm like oh wow first time i haven't seen you in a long time but yeah i see the age difference actually my cousin little little guy he came he came here and uh got a good haircut. yeah yeah so yeah so yeah i mean like i said we we try to do our best on every single client no matter what the age is we always try to do 110 percent. so yeah okay. that's really cool you guys hear that so if you really are not cutting your hair you're really missing out definitely really big missing time out. Every time oh, yeah. I see him, I'm like, nice cut, G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knocks him out. Yeah. What is what is um the most popular haircut that you that you've been doing? So right now, we've been doing a little bit of uh well quite a bit of burst fades, mid fades. Uh the high fade isn't too much of a big trend right now. So it's just more it's more mid, low. The mullets stick around for a little bit. We still get a couple clients that do still do mm-hmm. mullets. So that one's pretty cool because it's more of like a taper and just kind of faded into the back. There's several ways you can do that one. So, I mean, I guess the most popular is just the mid and low fade oh, right okay. now. I think I got what one of those. Get? And tapers, yeah. I, think you get I, got, I got a taper. Yeah, tapers I right now are hitting big right now, tapers for sure. Tapers. Yeah. Like... What I wonder is... Está pegando mucho del psique, my cat. Say it again. I've been yeah, wanting no. to say it. I'm like, oh, no que my cat. Oh, no que my cat, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I had. There were, I couldn't find the picture, but I had a Jim Carrey haircut. Like, have you seen the movie oh, dude, Dumb and yeah. Dumber? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looked for it. That one was funny. On yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just all the way down, lined up here. Just trying to, you know, make my <laughs> for her real quick. Man, so you've been doing this now for how many years? You said the ownership. How long have you so been So the owner? ownership, I've been here for three years at at this location. 
at 127 West Kellogg Road, Bellingham, 98226. Ooh, can you say that again one more time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one more time so everybody knows oh, okay go. so uh, the address is uh, 127 West Kellogg Road Bellingham Washington 98226 okay we'll also have that down below and then what's, your, what's your number uh, oh the, the shop number is 360 <laughs> uh, 306-6940 W he raised Willie W raised he said you're questionable now <laughs> 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 he said, uh, I'm married. First Don't worry, <laughs> man. <laughs> First, Willie says, Willie says, I like the cut. I like the skin. How can I get your number? Man. <laughs> and Willie says he doesn't roll that way. <laughs> I roll the right way. <laughs> yeah, you, no, roll, man. you roll right. You don't roll straight. Yeah, never mind, never mind. That was funny. That was funny. It was crickets. Um... What can you tell business owners? I'm, I'm I'm sure there's some business owners watching right now, uh, and I know barbershop it has its own it's its own beast, right? You have to uh, compete with others around the area. You have to uh, do your own marketing, hire talented people. Um, like what's someone that's getting into barbering or just business in general? What's a good advice that you can give them? So the best advice that I can give you is. Learn to cut hair really good. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't mess anybody up. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the shop's only as good as the barbers. So I mean, if you don't have good barbers, uh, you're really gonna your your business is really gonna feel it regardless. Yeah, if I'm good, but my barbers aren't. Uh, reason being is because they're not gonna want to stay in the shop. Yeah. So it's important to try to keep the business in the shop. So, uh. Well, here I, I I spread the love. So I mean, if if I can't, if I my client can't get to, can't get to me, I usually tell them, oh, I got more barbers, so and they all do good work. So I try to make sure that the business stays in the shop, so that way they're not wandering off to other uh, barber shops. Which I got I got no hate for any other barber shop, but is for when it's your bread and butter, you want to make sure that it stays w- within your shop. Yeah. So that way you don't have to struggle later in the future. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you? Because you had to get a haircutting degree, right? Or like a. Yeah, you have you have to go to barber school. So it's so how when hard I first so when I first did it, it's amazing how I don't want to say how hard it was, but how much you actually had to go through to make sure that you got that barber license. So the, uh, the school I went to, they, they show you the basics and basically that's all you learn. So if you don't take off from there, it's, it can be a really hard career to get into. So yeah. you kind of have to, it, it's a process. Uh, it took me a little bit longer just because I had to work mm-hmm. and go to school. So it wasn't an easy process. So yeah. it, it was challenging for sure. Especially if you got to do a, a seven to four and then drive all the way because i had to go to mount vernon so it was about for me it was a, about like an hour drive because I, I i worked in linden Dang. so it was it, it was Man, challenging man-made. for sure what i was wondering is like when you practice the haircuts do you guys like have like fake hair you guys practice on or do you guys like use so some, like- usually like all the new barbers so man, your your friends are your best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so usually I tell them, I mean, the more buddies that you get that are willing to basically let them let you do whatever you you can. I mean, that's what that's the way we all learn. So I mean, yeah. it's unfortunately there's no written hand, handbook on how to do each technique. You can you just kind of learn on your own. You gotta practice and practice and practice and yeah, just yeah. don't stop. So that's true. I guess that's the I guess that's the way it is in life. So I mean, exactly. You just, just gotta keep going forward until I usually tell guys, I mean, you just gotta fake it till you make it. Yeah, just smile, wave. Yep. Just yeah. smile, wave. <laughs> smile and wave. That looks good. That's a that's the nicest haircut I've done today. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That's good, man. Well, real quick, I do want to share your Instagram because I feel like people need to see your cuts. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it's uh, Via Barbershop Beauty on Instagram, right? Yeah. Again, Via Barbershop Beauty. We'll just have that pop beauty. up. Yeah, right there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like yeah, that. that was good, yeah. <laughs> One. 
<laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man, well, uh, this kid's in high school. I don't know if you knew. I mean, he he got a little goatee going on, a little uh, gun little, little mustache. One, one or two. <laughs> <laughs> a little one or two hairs. One, one, two. Actually, I saw it yesterday. I'm like, dang, that's a long one. <laughs> that's a long one. <laughs> I wanted to pluck it. <laughs> Dude, it kind of hurts. Like, one time I have. It like, actually, like, hurts. Yeah, I, I remember I had that one in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're behind, yeah, he's like, literally. He's like, you need to you're catch a little up. behind, <laughs> man. Um, high school. Do you remember high school much? Oh yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, get into a lot of trouble for real. Okay, <laughs> well, you gotta share some stories. You can't just. Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to. You know, there's some things that aren't for the camera. Oh, <laughs> hey, whoa, <laughs> and we'll be back. Yeah. To- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, high school was good to me. I mean, I definitely had a lot of friends. So that, like I said, that's basically where all this came from. We were just all cutting each other's hair. So I mean, I got I I got a lot of good and I got a lot of bad memories from yeah from high school. I try to keep the good ones with me because mm-hmm. the bad ones, yeah, you know how that goes. Especially when you get old and you mature. Yeah. <laughs> like, so oh be careful in goodness. high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was this one memory I had. It wasn't high school, but it was actually a middle school. That one time, it was during passing period. I was going to my biology class and we were all meeting up in the bathroom. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> but, I was about to say, you say I roll the wrong way? But one of my friends was cutting up one of my other friends in the bathroom and like he was cutting his hair. But he gave him like a mullet. So he was like, oh, he was, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like the easiest. He was doing one side and then we all had to go because like a teacher was coming. So he had to run back to class with like one side cut and the other side fully there. No way. It oh, was man. so that funny. Sucks. That does. Like, I wonder what his parents There said. was like 30 people in that bathroom. It was so funny. You know, I see a lot of TikToks <laughs> about that now where a lot of young, young kid, high school kids, they're, they're actually. They're they're cutting hair at school. I'm like, yeah. what the heck? Uh, we always we would always get together at each other's house to cut e- our hair because we mean, back in the day we didn't have none of this wireless. Oh, sorry. Clipper. What, what, what you laughing at, bro? <laughs> no, bro. Just the fact that like, imagine you're a teacher. You let your student go to the bathroom. And they come back with a whole different sure. hairstyle. <laughs> what, what would you think about that? Where he like, said, hey, it's, it's, it's for me to go this way. <laughs> and it reminds me of like, you know, in GTA, when you walk into the barber shop, you just change like that. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's probably what the teacher thinks. <laughs> so funny. Sorry, I just couldn't All concentrate. Right. Yeah. I, I look over and this guy is literally crying. I'm like, why is he? <laughs> it's so <Okay>. funny, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that's why I always tell you your secrets safe with me. <laughs> don't share our secrets. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we had we got to go back to high school. Funny, like, what are some core funny memories? You're like, oh man. Sometimes I think about it and I crack up. Ah, uh, that's a good one. And that was so long ago. Yeah. Oh. Don't you? You're, you're not on, that old. You're not. Well, it wasn't that long. I mean, <laughs> I'm 33, so that's that was more than what? More than 23. Nice. That's no, 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 no. I'm 33. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm 23 too. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you're older. Yeah. Than so me, that was that was a while ago. So it's, uh, I mean. <sighs> A, like a, a funny moment I can't uh, right off the top of my head I can't think of anything no it's okay. it's just yeah it's been so long it's, it's been so too long. inappropriate <laughs> it's too inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> no I'm joking sorry yeah. we'll bleep that That's, out it probably <laughs> was <laughs> no. it probably was did you ever get any fights? Uh, a couple I mean oh whoa. dang <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> let me leave <laughs> a win? did you win though? Uh, it was more of undecided. We just kind of oh. like whatever, just stop. Yeah, yeah we got a humble. Fight. Yeah. We got humble. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I won, but I don't want to say. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I, I, know I was never really the one to try to get into anybody's business, but yeah. once they provoked me, I was a different person in high school. So Damn. I could tell just how he said business. <laughs> business. I'm trying to get anyone business. <laughs> Damn, no business. I heard that real quick. Oh snap! <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Nah, that's good, man. That's good. Man, what about you, Manny? I've never gotten in a fight. <laughs> well, 
maybe almost in like some basketball games. There was this. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's there's been some times, but I've controlled myself or my coach. Or I've been in trouble sometimes. I remember, like a couple games ago, mom got mad at me because I like mouthed the f word. <laughs> That was funny. Speaking about moms, I mean, we're we're all Latin, we're all Latinos here, right? We're all Latinos here. Chancla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about real. to say chancla. <laughs> um, any funny stories there? We don't want to call anyone uh, now. Uh, yeah, I know that chancla way too well. Oh <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but you can never dodge it. There's always a second one. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a third and fourth. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Third and fourth, man. Yeah. Man, yeah. They're good. They're good. <laughs> but I guess at the end of the day, I guess it kind of helps us mm. out a little bit. Because nowadays, you kind of see these kiddos, you know, like, man, if I was a parent. Mm. Or if that was me. Oh, yeah. I, I can't, I can't able, imagine no. myself that Sorry, new being. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I'll be doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It's a, it's definitely a different time. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Times have definitely been changing a mm-hmm. lot. So it's just from from when I was growing up and seeing this new generation, I'm like, wow. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't know how, I, how my parents would have done in this generation, yeah, yeah. so it's just, about. yeah. I mean, I, I didn't turn out too bad, so I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. you got a good shot. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's really good. We're well, talking about your generation. No, <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, no, I get, it. <laughs> yeah, no. It's <laughs> all no. good, bro. <laughs> I'm all like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm with the other. I'm with the big boys now. No, I'm with real. the dogs. <laughs> no, for real. I was gonna ask, what like, what do you see differently with like my generation, your guys is that's like two years, like two generations back. Uh, what do I see? Let's see. This, the newer generation. So see, when I grew up, I I worked a lot in the fields. Mm. I did that for a lot of years. The newer guys, man, they don't want to do that kind of mm. hard labor. They want to stick to McDonald's, mm. Pizza Hut. So I mean, they, I don't, I, I don't see them doing that hard, <laughs> that hard labor. So. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you did Little Caesars, bro. Hey, you know what? I did do Little Caesars. Damn, yeah, I was like, man, well, I'm not coming. saying it's anything bad. It's just. The ag- the agriculture world is yeah. starting to yeah. die down. It and is. Then, unfortunately, we're going to end up paying the price for that one mm-hmm. day. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's also depending on the area, too. Because I know in eastern Washington, it's, it's, it's oh, a totally yeah. different That's game. True. And I remember going to, to, to these fields here and working one temporada, and it was it was. It's hard work, man. It is a lot it's of hard work. Are you sure you're Latino? I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's it's definitely a different ballgame. Sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I did that throughout my life. So, like I said, I guess that I guess that might have been one of the reasons that that may have impulsed me to try to get out of it, to try to do something. Yeah. So I'm not hating on it. I mean, it's. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely humbling. It it, it teaches yeah. you. Uh-huh. It does. So it it teaches you to, it teaches you to appreciate more life, more where your, where your roots come from, especially your parents, where they came from nothing. So it's it's pretty cool, and that that's something that I kind of want to pass down to my kids because, uh, my kids, although I'm trying to raise them the right way, I I. Even though I I tell my wife not to, I, I do it too without even know doing knowing that I'm doing it. I'm spoiling yeah. them. So, like when it comes to like housework, yard work, I try to keep them there with me. My son, he's a little bit more on the lazy side, so he kind of tries to sneak away and just kind of act like he he's gonna do it, but he doesn't do it. But my daughter, she 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 helps me out a lot. So I'm really thankful for her too. So especially my wife, because I mean. Like I said, we have this shop. It, it's something that we couldn't have done if we would have put uh, our heads together yeah. and our effort. So it's, I'm really thankful for my wife too. So it's just we've come, we've definitely come a long way from when we first got married. Because I remember one time we were in Mexico. Uh, we lived in a house. We only paid 
eight hundred pesos. So eight hundred pesos back in the day was like sixty, maybe fifty bucks. I don't know what it is Dang. right now. Wow. So I remember one time we were getting ready to go because we lived in Tasco. We we're getting ready to go to Iwala. I can't remember exactly. And my wife yells out a spider. So I'm like, oh, you know, you're used to the spiders yeah. here. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. I'm like, why is she screaming there's a spider? I'm like, unless it was like a black widow. No, it was a tarantula. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm out. I can't even think about yeah. that. <laughs> I'm terrified of spiders. So, uh, I'd get paralyzed. I didn't even want to step on it because it was so big because I had never seen an actual tarantula ever in my entire life. So what I did is I just grabbed the thickest chunk I could find and just slammed it as hard as I could and killed it. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I would let him take the house. I would let him. Well, the there. thing is, it was inside her bedroom, so I'm like, it's not like I could just let it run off in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, that is. You know what I yeah. said, Yosito? It must yeah. be time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the so that was the first time I ever saw a real life tarantula, <laughs> a wild one. <laughs> <laughs> a wild one. When was the last time you brought an exterminator here? I know. Uh, <laughs> now I'm feeling a little... <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Are they slow? Or are they? I don't know. I didn't give it time to run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can talk about this anymore. Yeah. You know, I, I, I literally... That's one thing about me, man. I am terrified of... Spiders. Oh, I make my, yeah. I've seen it at my grandma's house, and I'm like, Grandma, you got to kill it. She's like, yeah. you? I, I... The spiders here are, are really small <laughs> compared to the ones in Mexico, yeah, well... so... <laughs> And you got to worry about more scorpions down there, too. So, I mean, yeah. My wife carried one. So, it's like a 30-minute drive in bus. Oh, no, no, no. It's like an hour drive in bus to the to the, the other city. So, she, so, one day we were going to Iwala, and she actually carried a scorpion in her bag. And once we we were going to get off, I just happened to look back, and I told her, oh, look, you have a scorpion. And, she was, and it was inside her bag, so she just flicked it out. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, so we've come a long way, so I'm really thankful for that. So I'm more appreciative. Uh, oh, yeah. Things, so. uh, no, I respect that, honestly. Uh, you know, I, I can't put myself in your in your situation, but, I mean, yeah, hard work, dedication. I've seen where my grandparents come from and my mom, and that's the reason why I work so hard. And then for this guy, too, right? Um, and I think that's super important. That's one thing I really like about, you know, our culture, too, is that, you know, we're, he, we we respect family so much and we see the hard work, we see the labor, you know, uh, being first generations, we admire that. Now, my kids, that's one thing I'm also going to teach. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be like, <laughs> man, Dad, you're a no sabo. I'm like, how do you know what that means? <laughs> see, right now, that's what I'm struggling with right now because my daughter, she can speak both languages. She can speak Spanish and English. My son, he doesn't want to speak any any Spanish. Mm. So that's what I'm afraid of. He's going to be a no sabo kid. No sabo. Yeah. ¿Qué es eso? No sabo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seen that one video of the guy saying, I don't know what he said, but I just remember hearing him. Y corri, corri, me fue para allá. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah. You see a lot of those. I'm like, oh, man. Man, it's all right, though. I mean, I can't really talk. Uh, yeah. I can't talk. <laughs> me defiendo, me defiendo, but for real, uh, I'll be like. Uh, for me, it helped that my wife spoke a lot of Spanish. Because so, mm -hmm. my, my Spanish, the beginning wasn't so great. Now I can, I'm more fluent, I guess. Yeah. So that I guess that's one advantage of having a Hispanic wife yeah. that only spoke Spanish. Now she's she's definitely learning more English. I tell her that she speaks it more and knows it more than what she thinks. What she thinks is that she gets nervous or shy, and I just tell her just do your thing. Yeah. What about the food, bro? Who cooks in your house? You or your no, both my you guys? wife, man. You don't want you don't want my cooking, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want my cooking. He cooks in the barber shop. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. What's your favorite food that she makes? Oh man, she makes a lot of good really? food. Really? Oh yeah. Yes, I could think of one, Yeah, I can't. I wouldn't be able to tell you because I mean everything. She, not everything, because there's some dishes that I don't like. But I mean, for the most part, she makes a lot of good food. So yeah, for that I'm thankful because yeah, that that would have been a really hard situation to be with especially with me not cooking <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's all good i try i try but uh 
I make concoctions. That's what I make. Dude, you make struggle meals. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, struggle, I'm, not I just, I'm like, huh. <laughs> man, you know what? I'm out, guys. It's been a great podcast. Yeah, no, but I mean, okay, but are they good? Yeah, they are. They low-key are good. Yeah, they are. That's I play mixing it, and I think I learned it from my grandpa because he just made mixing stuff. I'm like, dang, you just put the most random stuff, and somehow it tastes good. Super good or good? Good. So there's there's I ain't gonna some... cook for this guy anymore. <laughs> there's some that are super good. Yeah. Yeah, there's something else. <laughs> Chorro. Dude, like, dude, what was that that you gave me the other day? It was in the fridge, and you act like it wasn't expired. And you were like, here, try this. No, it really wasn't expired. It just wasn't good. It was blue cheese. He what was, uh, so what was the difference, bro? Blue Not cheese? good and expired. No, no, no. It, dude, no, sorry. It, was expired. it just didn't taste good. It wasn't expired. Blue cheese just tastes like that. I don't know how it's made, but I'm I've never liked cheese, blue cheese, and I like cheese, just not blue cheese. But yeah, I, I dislike cheese. Either. Yeah, no. I just dislike cheese. Yeah, he, I can't stand cheese. Oh, yeah? yeah, like last time you made me like take a little mozzarella, I almost puked. It was really? bad. It was bad. So you don't like any 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 sort of cheese? No, really? no, not at all. So how do you eat pizza? I mean, like. <laughs> 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 he said, "Hold on." <laughs> no, like pizza, I can stand. Like just straight cheese pizza, I can, I can't stand it. Uh, but like if it has like a toppings and all that, I can stand it. And the and a good amount of red sauce, okay. then I can stand it. Man, we're gonna be wrapping up here. But before we wrap up, uh, I always like to end the segments or podcasts with some advice. Uh, we'll leave you for last because your your advice is gonna be the best. But we'll start with Manny. I'll have you kick it oh, off. Man. Advice for our viewers. Anything you wanna. Don't eat blue cheese. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Say? Um. Shoot. Let me. You know. Obviously, one. Don't eat blue cheese. Don't eat blue cheese. And two. And if you do like it, kudos. That's that's, that's great. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. yeah. I don't hate on anyone that. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say one thing, kind of just like on what we were talking about, just the fact that like, don't give up and like talent beats hard work. I mean, hard work beats talent. Sorry, hard work beats talent. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So, like, if you, like, if you really want to do something, just don't give up and, like, keep working and do what you can to, like, keep practicing, even if that's, like, you never have, like, say you have free time, like, oh, use that free time to do what you can and, like, I don't know, just do, do everything in, like, your possible time to do what you want to do, you know, like, make your dreams come true. Yeah. Don't, don't let them just stay dreams. Don't let them, don't leave them on the pillow. Yeah. How about you, hermano Isaac? Mr. Fia. So my advice is whenever life wants to beat you down, just keep your head up and remember that there's a God that is always always willing to extend his hand to lift you up. So no matter the circumstances, no matter what life wants to throw at you, remember there's always a God that we can seek. Whether uh, we're going through hardship, our financial situation is not great. If there's one thing that I've learned from God and my my from my own livelihood testimony and everything that I lived is that as long as you keep seeking God, God will always be there to help you out, no matter the circumstances. So that that that'll be my best advice: is just always make sure you have God inside your plan. Because if you if you have Him outside your plan, things might not go as you plan. So just keep your head up and just make sure you always have God inside your plans, and great things will happen. Man, preach it. Mm-hmm. Keep going. No, this whole this whole episode felt like like he's giving me advice. Yeah. Like like we're the guests. <laughs> well, we, we kind of are in a way. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. But no, thank you. That first of all, that was great. Not just for us, but I'm pretty sure you, everybody that yeah. uh, that is here right now, please. And if you've been watching this long, you're a real one. Shout subscribe. Out to you. Shout out to you. But no, Isaac. Thank you so much for welcoming welcoming us to your beautiful oh, shop. Sure, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking the time. I know you got kids and, and it's late. No, it's man. Thursday. It's all good, man. But no, thanks, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you it. being on the show, man. So it's it's a real privilege and honor to be part of the gang, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. anytime. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun for sure. So thank you for having me on, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, Bro Talk family, we'll see you soon. Make sure to subscribe, comment, share it. Comment below what you like, what you don't like, and what's your... If you want to include some pictures of some bad hair because you've had, please, by all means, tag us. Put it on the Instagram, tag us, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll send you over to Via Barbershop. Head to Via.
Yeah, but we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Manny, you got any closing remarks? Come to Via. Come to Via. Get a perm like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I like it. Follow us. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you again very pronto. Adios. Adios. Adios.